Now that we know that humans are generalist specialists, let's talk about how we adapt when we move to new environments. Humans today live in a variety of different environments. You can find people living high in the mountains, in forests, on plains, and even in very cold places. Also hot places, too. I'm looking at you, American South. Um, But obviously, it took a while for people to get to these new environments. So let's talk about the processes that we use to adapt to a new place. Um, There's a couple different things that could happen. One of them is called phenotypic plasticity, and this is something all of us can do. So these are observable phenotypic changes induced by environmental conditions. So some examples are like the expansion and contraction of the iris of your eye. We can see that when we move from a um, bright environment to a dark environment, our iris dilates. Um, also shivering when cold. So when if when we get cold enough, you know, you notice your the hair in your arm stands on it and then we start to shiver, but also sweating when hot. So these are all things that um, all of us can do at, and tend to happen with, you know, pr- smallish changes in the environment. There are also behavioral adaptations. These can take a pretty wide range, but you can boil it down to two two principles. You seek good things and you avoid bad things. So if you're in a really hot environment, you're probably going to seek shade. You're going to seek water. Um, You're going to avoid being in the super hot sun on top of a really hot ground for a long time. If you're in a cold environment, you're actively going to seek sun and you're going to avoid shade. All things like that. But primarily what we see humans do to adapt to new places are cultural adaptations. Um, The one that's been around the longest is, of course, fire. A newer one is our air conditioners, which I'm sure most of you use in the summer. Um, And to get through that cold winter here in New York, these are probably the two most common things that you will see. Really, what we are using or what we are creating with all of our cultural adaptations is a micro environment. So this is an immediate small scale environment that is distinct from the larger environment. I'm creating one right now with my scarf. It's kind of cold today and my apartment's a little chilly. So I am counteracting that by um, enrobing myself in nice warm clothes. Um, So you can do this just with the clothes around you, but we also do this with our buildings because even though my apartment's a little chilly today, it is still warmer than the outside. So we can do this on multiple levels. So can you describe how do humans adapt to new environments? (music) 